Yuminiki is a very hard game to give you. Not because of a lack of things to say, definitely not. I could go into about everything for so long. No, it's because I don't want to go in a one of a kind game. So before I start, I'd like to say what this video is. It's basically what I would have wanted to know when I started this game. So that you'll probably enjoy it more since it's hard to play if you don't have the motivation. But if this seems like the type of game that you'd enjoy, I urge you to play it. I mean, it's literally free and took about seven hours to complete for me. But anyway, let's continue. You're first stated explaining how to get into the dream world and back, but another screen tells you about effects and some things about them. And that's it. That's your guide for the entire game. Needless to say, it's an old way of starting things, especially now of explanations, tutorials, and hints being the standard of modern gaming. And this is the point of the game. You're exploring dreams, understand layouts and ideas and paths, and you eventually understand the game. You feel as if you know everything and it's not matched by anything I've ever played. Your aim in the game, I'm told by the guide, is to collect 24 effects, which means I'm gonna butcher this, Madasuki's appearance and have special abilities. And the first tip I'm gonna give you, try to use all these effects on the NPCs. Or the characters that move around, or don't even move around. Some have special interactions and events linked to them that you'll completely miss if you don't. Browse the effects on all of them. You'll be put into a small room with two doors at the start, a bed and a console to play on. Your character refuses to leave her apartment because it's story reasons. And the second door is a simple balcony with not much in there. You can also save here by interacting with the desk. Don't do what I did and delete the save accidentally. I hate myself for that. There was two hours of gameplay spent on nothing. Don't do that. It's very easy. I'm not. I'm not that stupid. So to get into the dream, you'll need to well sleep in the bed, and you get teleported into a room filled with doors. Interacting with these doors lets you into different worlds or dreams, and inside them is more dreams, and links to other doors. And this is all I'm going to say to explain. Because in the end, this is just an experience that I want you to have. And I don't want to spoil anything about it. It's, yeah, as I said earlier, just the exploration of the game is incredible. It's, um, Breath of the Wild. That's, that's, that's an exploration game. But that's, like, completely different satisfaction from, like, exploring than this game. This is, like, uncharted territory. Like, like no help. And it is just really good. Before the ending starts though, I just wanted to say a few things firstly. Don't be ashamed of using guide, guide if you're really stuck. I personally did. I've linked a really good one that I used and another one that can be used after you play this game. For like explanation of all the foggy stuff that's not a good explain the game. They are both Steam guides but still, I mean they're, they're still really good. Oh and the game's on Steam too. Again, links in the description.